Link aggregation is the process of combining multiple network ports together to increase throughput and provide a means of redundancy. Instead of just having an active passive bond, we're able to utilize both network ports at the same time. In order to set up LACP, which stands for Link Aggregation Control Protocol, we have to add ports to a lag, or Link Aggregation Group. To do this, we go to Port Management, Link Aggregation, and then Lag Management. We're going to select the first, Lag 1, and click the Edit button. Our name is going to be Windows Server. However, if you have a host name, that may be a better way to document the connection. Make sure the LACP checkbox is set to Enabled. Otherwise, it'll be grayed out once the lag group is saved. Next, we're going to add port 1 and port 2, as these are the two ports I have my host plugged into. Now, click Apply and Close. It may take a short amount of time for the ports to reset themselves and for the host to pick up the new connection settings. The host has to be properly set up for LACP in order for this configuration to work. Normally, network engineers don't use the default VLAN on the switch for general network use. That being said, we're going to configure a new lag group to another VLAN. First, we go to VLAN Management, and then Interface Settings. Change the filter from Port to Lag and click Go. Our lag one doesn't need to be set up as a trunk since a single VLAN will be going to our host. Now, select Edit, and switch the VLAN mode to Access. Click Apply and Close to exit the config window. Now that this is set, we're going to go to Port VLAN Membership and change the filter from Port to Lag. Select Lag 1 and click Join VLAN. VLAN 1 untagged should be removed since we know our general network VLAN is 13. We're going to use that one. Click Apply and close the window. Keep in mind that VLANs other than the default will need to be created on the switch. Let's go back and check on the status of our lag group. Go to Port Management, Link Aggregation, and back to Lag Management. We can see our link state is up and we have two active members. This connection is now ready to use LACP. To save our changes, we're going to select the flashing red Save button. Apply the running config to the startup config and click OK on the pop-up window. That's it for this demo. In this demo, we configured link aggregation, created a lag group, and assigned a lag group to a VLAN.